We are now going to talk about, quickly, briefly talk about the coaching vacancies because mm-hmm. there is a lot. <laughs> yeah, there is. And I've got like a list of teams that are, I'll basically read out just the current openings. Okay, cool. For you guys. So Carolina Panthers, yep. which we'll briefly touch up on. Uh, Las Vegas Raiders, but I believe they've, they've made Antonio Pierce. I saw comms yesterday that mm-hmm. They're basically going to make him permanent, which okay. they should. They should have done that. Um, yep. I've not checked for an update on that. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers. They've been needing someone. They need someone really important for Justin yep. Herbert. Yep. Um, we he briefly mentioned week. Jim Har- Harbour. That's yep. going to make or break college. their franchise. Yeah. Atlanta Falcons. Um, Bill Belichick's been heavily linked with them. And it looks like... <sighs> That would be mad though. I don't think he should go. Uh, yeah, carry on. But I don't, yeah, think, I don't think he should go there though. It doesn't seem how, like how, how much power that. would you yeah. give him as well? You got to give him everything. Yeah. And Atlanta Falcons is a. They got. They've got to give him everything. I don't think they See, should. I, I think, think teams I don't would think they should learn. Either. I don't think no team would anyway. Because look yeah. what my man's doing. No, I think he. Just, I think the only role you can now, now give him is just head coach. Yeah. yeah, yeah. None of the general GM, managers. Though. Yeah, you can't make any decisions on players. Um, because who's the, the coach that got Smith, Sutton Smith, Arthur Smith, or whatever, the Falcons? The one when he, the one that got angry when... Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah when... Um, I uh, didn't know. Um, when I was listening to shows the following day, um, they were talking about saying him, he doesn't need the money anyway, because his dad's rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah, dad's yeah. Um, FedEx or not. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was, was nice like, anyway, I remember I was like, wow. right. <laughs> He's doing it for banner. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, that owns FedEx. So I was like, fair you play. You got a job. Yeah. <laughs> um, the job that's paying in millions as well. Yeah, exactly. Trust. Uh, Washington Commanders, which we just touched up on. Um, they'll hire the best coach. Though. They'll hire. I think they'll hire. Their hire will be the best one. Yeah. It's who? Yeah, who they entice? Obviously, it's gonna. But they'll probably be more strategic than yeah. other teams. Um, they're gonna hire someone that we're not even. That's that's in a job. You think? Like, they, they've got the pool for it actually yeah you, they've got their cap space i think seven i think 75 million yeah, but it's the biggest cap space in the nfl yeah see <laughs> they're, they're gonna hire they're gonna take someone's offensive coordinator that's been a head coach before mm. or someone's i don't mm. know who they're gonna take but maybe eric the enemy he's already well, he's, he's there, there. but they, they the make way, him make him the but the way it's been spoken about others have. it doesn't it seems like he's just gonna stay as oc he, oh, man, he needs to get a head coaching job if he wants to be considered a serious man. Does he want to be, though? Yeah. That's he why he interv- left Kansas City. He in- yeah, because he thought he, the trajectory will be um, head coach in there. Then, obviously, yeah. they got new owners, innit? Yeah. Um, just after he went, innit? Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah, because Washington impossible. done the sell last summer, beginning yeah. of summer and stuff. So, yeah, um, EB... Hopefully he gets a job within the next year or two. Mm-hmm. Tennessee Titans, obviously they weirdly got rid of Mike Vrabel. But yeah, still that makes sense. Yeah, they got their own issues. Yeah. Um, and then Pete Carroll leaving the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. So that's going to be interesting. You've got some legacy coaches that have left. And yeah. I, I did read the article that Mike Tomlin is going to make a decision on his future. Uh, same. Okay. I'm glad you touched up on that, actually. Mm. Okay, so Mike Tomlin could be available as well. No, apparently he's having a break. Oh, it's just retirement, yeah. maybe. Yeah, just a break. He just oh, okay. is going to have a break. He's still quite young. Yeah, it makes sense, man. He's, but he's early 50s, the, yeah. but he got the job in his 30s and he yeah. was the youngest coach at the time, in it? So Yeah, take a, take a break from Apparently his team. Apparently, he's going to um, have a break. So yeah. that'll be, yeah, the Steelers' job could be up for grabs. Yeah. And he, like, they've been taking a piss because they've not had a good quarterback for years. Even Big Ben's latter years. Yeah. Obviously, it's a legacy thing, so he's still yeah. going to play in it, but... Yeah, he's man. He's getting them to flipping mm. playoffs every single year with no quarterback. Yep, <laughs> or not even playoffs, but a win, not having a losing record. Mm-hmm. So, just testament to himself and Leg- that's legendary right there. Yep, and it shows yeah how hard it is to win a Super Bowl. Oh, these men, when you deep it, they've just got one Super Bowl. A lot of these coaches, like yeah. say Pete Carroll, Mike Tomlin, Pete but Carroll, bro, Pete Carroll threw away his other one, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> away that as well. <laughs> so, boy, even hard just to get there. Some of them ain't been back. 
Oh, well, Cowboys ain't been there since 1995. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> and this was their best opportunity. Man, and they, they, they completely ain't going back this year. They fell go. flat on their face. <laughs> Cowboys might not, be, not, might not be back to 2035. But. The way they're moving. But pff, now with them going out unexpectedly, I expect Mike McCarthy to be sacked. Yep, um, same. I'm surprised we didn't see that today. Yeah. But it might have happened whilst we were recording. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it usually but, does. Um, now with that. Bill Belichick go there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just it's just if Jerry Jones, it's just a personality. Like, how that, they me- that, yeah, that yeah. seems like a clash, man. Yeah. How they mesh? It's a um, personality, isn't it? They're both old as well, so they ain't, none of them ain't changing. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, stuck the in their things, ways. The change things not happening. Yeah, but like those are kind of things that potentially <clears throat> for Belichick, probably why he ain't rushing to so not rush, but made his mind up already because mm. another good team. That if they're to lose, um, is the Eagles? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> there is gonna be so many, so much availability. Bro, this like, because if the Eagles lose, I don't think Sirianni should be sacked because his record since he's got there is so good. And mm. he's been good, man. But you've messed up from being ten one position. To this now twelve and. You should have won the division. Yeah. Should have been competing for the one seed anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, he should be held accountable for something. So, and then he made the change of changing defensive coordinators, yeah. so it's like, which was weird in the season. So, it's like you didn't sack someone, but you're restructuring the roles. Yeah, yeah. yeah was, I, don't know, I don't know. So, no, I, I genuinely cannot wait till the NFL offseason. Obviously, it's annoying because we're not going to have no games to actually watch. Yeah. But there's um, going to be still a lot going on in terms of movement and player movement and coach movement. Yeah. Which is which is gonna be good, 